Hey guys, it's Cass. Welcome to the channel. The first part of this video is going to be a little bit quiet because it is four in the morning <laughs> and I cannot sleep because weird shit keeps happening to me and it's kind of freaking me out. On Friday, I got off at work at 12. So I took a nap when I, when I came home and when I like woke up from my nap, I was in kind of like an in-between state of being awake and asleep and I heard Shane on the phone, like walking down the hallway. So I gave myself a few minutes to like fully wake up. And when I did, I went to go get a drink from the kitchen, which is directly across from my bedroom. And Shane was sitting at the dining table. So I went up to him and I was like, hey, are you okay? Who are you talking to on the phone? And he was like, I haven't talked to anyone on the phone today, why? And I was like, you weren't just on the phone in the hallway? And he was like, no. And so I like explained it to him. And I was like, all I remember hearing kind of is him saying, well, I don't really know what to tell you. If it happened to you, then I feel like you deserve it. Like you deserve everything you have coming towards you. And if that happened to you, then you deserve it. And like, I don't know what to tell you. I can't help you. Like he sounded annoyed. Like someone made him angry and he was like, tough shit. And he was like, no, I haven't called anyone all day. What you heard was not me. And I was like, okay. And I kind of like brushed it off because I know that sometimes with my sleep paralysis, that sometimes in the in-between state of being awake and asleep, I hear things sometimes. And then sometime between Friday and Saturday, I can't remember when this was, but I, again, had just woken up from a nap and I heard someone grab a glass cup from the cabinet and I heard it being set on the counter. I just woke up, I was still really tired, I rolled over and I laid down for anywhere between like another 30 to 45 minutes. And Shane was also home during this time. So I went up to talk to him and I was like, hey, what'd you grab from the kitchen? And just like making conversation because I'm curious and nosy. And he looked at me and he was like, I've been in my room for the last two hours. I haven't been in the kitchen. And I was like, are you sure? Because something just moved in the kitchen. Our third roommate has not been home all day and it was not me. So you're the only liable source here. And he was like, no, it wasn't me. Maybe it was the pans in the lower cabinets, but our pans are made of metal. This was glass and it was being set on the counter and I heard it. Sometime yesterday afternoon, I was sitting on my bed, I was watching TV on my laptop, and there's a window directly across from my bed, right? Like the, the foot of the bed, there's a window. And I wasn't looking at the window, <clears throat> but out of the corner of my eye, like in my peripheral vision, I saw a man standing outside my window. So I looked up, expecting it to be one of the construction people that's been stopping by every few weeks, and no one was fucking there. When I tell you that I saw this figure so clearly, I would have bet money that someone was standing outside my window. It was an older white male. He had very thin white hair. He was a little bit like slouched. He was wearing a blue button up collared shirt. I see things, I see people, I see shadow people. I see masses, I see black figures. I've never hallucinated a figure that clearly and it really fucking freaked me out because I would put my life that someone was standing outside my window. Then less than fucking an hour ago, I was playing a video on YouTube to fall asleep to and I was lying down and I was listening to it to try to go to sleep. And I twitch, right before I fell asleep, I twitch a lot in my sleep and I twitch right before I wake up sometimes. And I was twitching so bad, but I was not asleep. I could pinpoint everything that was happening. I could hear the story as it was going I could not open my eyes. I could not talk. I could not make my body move, 
but I couldn't stop twitching. I was paralyzed. Quite literally, utterly fucking paralyzed, but I was not asleep. Roughly at least two years, I have not experienced sleep paralysis, but I was not asleep. It was just paralysis, like momentary paralysis. The last twitch that I had before I could like wake myself up, I guess, there was a flash of white and there was a figure and I twitched so hard, my body jumped up. And as soon as I like felt my body jolt that hard, my eyes shot open. And right before I opened my eyes, with that flash of white and that figure, someone was standing over my bed, looking down at me. I could feel someone, something in my room. This happened at like 2.30 in the morning. I could feel someone in my room. I saw the figure right before I woke myself up. Someone was standing over my bed. And when I opened my eyes, when I could finally have control over my body, no one was there, obviously. That is four instances over the last three days, roughly three to four days, all of which I've never experienced before. Figures, yes. Auditory hallucinations, yes. Not to the extent where I think it's real. My auditory hallucinations, I know when they're hallucinations because it's not talking. I get more sounds than anything for some reason. I get, I hear tires screeching, like a car sliding off the road. And I always get the visual of like, the railing that's on the end of the road being bent or broken and it's always off a hill every single time and i've been having that auditory hallucination since i was a kid it's always tire screeching and after the tire screech i i see the rail i hear footsteps sometimes i hear rain i've heard um leaves like scattering against a sidewalk when I'm inside somewhere and it's completely quiet around me. I'm usually very good at identifying when a hallucination is a hallucination. Any of those last four times, it does not feel like a hallucination. I don't know what's happening. And quite frankly, I'm fucking scared. What is that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck is happening? But that genuinely feels like, even just with the glass and me thinking that I hear Shane, that feels like something's trying to get my attention. I don't know what it is. I don't know why they're trying to get my attention. And as of right now, I'm really not interested in trying to find out. Ignore the glare, I know this is terrible lighting. So, I got done with my shift. I just got gas. I got a drink and a snack. Now I just gotta drive home. I'm not planning on staying for a long time because I literally just need to give my mom her gift, uh, cause her birthday was yesterday. We're all nuts out there this morning. Yep. Okay, so I was not at my parents <clears throat> for very long. I was there for an hour and a half, about. That's pretty much it. I made myself a drink. My dad got me a new bottle of alcohol that I've been wanting but haven't been able to find. Um, so he gave that to me when I came over. So that is in the fridge and I will be drinking it tonight. It is just after 11. I've been awake for, I think, 40-ish minutes. And I am going to meet up with a friend and just hang out for the afternoon. I cannot find my belt. And my pants fit they were just a little loose around the waist. So they keep dropping. <laughs> it's kind of annoying the shit out of me. I have an hour until we're meeting up because we're meeting up at 12. So I'm gonna go get food. I am utterly starving. It's a little bit after 8 p.m. Um, I have been home three hours about. I did the dishes and I made dinner. From today, I just wanna show you some of my findings. So with uh, the friend that I was hanging out with, we went to Build-A-Bear and we got matching frogs. Actually, we got matching Build-A-Bears. This 
is Armadillo, but his nickname is Army, not because he's green, it just happened to be a coincidence. And then he has dino pajamas. He has a tail hole, but no tail because he's a frog. Anyway, we were at Barnes & Noble for a little bit, and since I have my own record player, but I didn't have a record, bought one, and I wanted to go with an album that I knew that I knew. There was an Arctic Monkeys album, and I love Arctic Monkeys, but that specific album was not one that I was overly familiar with. I knew a few songs, but I did find this album. And I know every song on this album, like the back of my hand. I ordered a book from Thrift Books, and I totally forgot to check and didn't realize that it was coming today. I bought a book called Cemetery Boys. Cemetery Boys is about a trans guy and his family does not accept his true gender. With the help of his cousin and best friend, he performs a ritual, lets out the ghost of who killed his cousin, I think. Yeah, his cousin. And then, I think that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> I was supposed to work open to one today. I didn't because I ended up leaving work early yesterday. Uh, the stomach bug has been going around and it's kind of inevitable that one of us caught it. So I have the next three days off because we're closed for tomorrow because tomorrow is Easter Sunday and I don't work Mondays. I'm gonna be at my parents for the night and then I'm leaving back for Greensboro at some point. I have no idea. I do feel a little bit better. My stomach is still somewhat upset and I've had like a headache at least for the past 24 hours. So that's exciting. Hello, so I promised myself that I would clean my room today as much as I do not want to, but I know that I can't just do it in small increments because then I'm gonna get frustrated and I'm not gonna get anything done. So the only way that I think that I can do it is to put everything that's, hold on, is to put everything that's in this pile between my bed and my TV on my bed. <laughs> this is the only way that I'm gonna kind of get it done. So, we're just gonna do that in hopes that it gets somewhere. So my room is mostly clean. I really only have what's around my desk and what's on top of my desk to tidy. And my goal is to do that before I go to bed. Um, it is only about seven o'clock. So, and right now I'm just chilling. So I'm not aiming to get that done right now. I do think I'm gonna end the vlog here uh, just because there's not really much left for me to record. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the rest of my day just chilling, hanging out and then, I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So I have no clue what I'm gonna do Friday or Saturday, but I'll figure something out to keep myself busy. But <clears throat> I'm gonna end the vlog here and I will see you guys in the next video.